Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and everything about Excel dashboards. All right, uh, this is the best submission we got for the Super Bowl Challenge. And uh, Don, I wanted to say thanks very much. It's a great dashboard. What I did is I gave you a sample set of Super Bowl statistics and other um, pieces of information and asked you um, how would you create a dashboard for this. So let's go ahead and take a look at Don's submission. Like I said, I just think this is awesome. So he took uh, part of the data set, which was the cost for a 30 second commercial. He put it in a chart here uh, in the dashboard and he put a background in there of some money. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, here in this middle section, he's got uh, historical Super Bowl games, wins and losses. Um, and that was because what I did is I chose wins and losses. You can also choose points for or against. You can choose Super Bowl games. So you'll see um, how many games everybody has played in the Super Bowl. So it looks like the Dallas Cowboys and the Pittsburgh Steelers have played the most Super Bowls of everyone. So that's pretty cool. Over on the right, you've got statistics. You can just click on different ones here, and you'll see the statistics that come up. Uh, over on the right, so if I want to say who are passes completed but for career, Tom Brady has 128 in five Super Bowls. That's awesome. Yards per game, Kurt Warner was killing it with two different, uh, three different Super Bowls, so that's just amazing. Uh, in the bottom, what he did is he compared the statistics for uh, the regular season that I provided um, with a pick list. So you can come down here and hit a pick list and say, I want to look at the, um, let's say it was ultimately not, let's say it was the San Francisco 49ers um, versus, uh, these are the two teams that were second place for each one, the New England Patriots. So you can see the New England Patriots and the San Francisco 49ers both had identical win losses. He's calculating a difference down on the bottom as well. Um, and then finally, over on the left-hand side, this is what I thought was really cool, and I thought I'd do spend a little bit more time looking at this. Is he took the information and said, let's pick a year over here with um, uh, this different control. So let's say I picked 2007. You can see um, the New York Giants beat the New England Patriots in 2007. Uh, it was held in Glendale, and he created a map. Um, and the most valuable player was Eli Manning, and the stadium was the University of Phoenix. And uh, this was the spread, and this is the overall, I'm sorry, this is not the betting spread, but the difference in uh, the New York Giants scored 17 and the Patriots 14. And if you just choose different ones in here, you can see 2009 was in Miami. You can see the different score. Just thought that was awesome. Now, let's take a look at how Don did this. Um, so what he did is he went and created a map for every single year. So he created one for San Diego. What he did was he found a picture of the United States, and he made a little teeny, um, uh, he inserted, let's say, some clip art there, or a shape of that little red star, and he created a map for every single time that something, uh, one of these Super Bowls may have been played in a different venue. Now, if I click on this, you'll notice up here in the top, this is actually a picture. So it's a picture format. This is not a chart that he's doing here. Um, and let's see how he went about doing this. So he inserted a picture, and then he changed the value to equal to a formula called my chart or a named range. So if we go up to formulas and we go to the name manager, you will see that um, if we scroll down a little ways, you have my chart. My chart is going to choose data based on a cell in dashboard of B7. And based on that cell, it's going to say um, it was either in Arlington, Atlanta, Detroit, Glendale, Houston. Um, and so it is going to use the choose formula to actually find another named range. So if, it, if dashboard B7 is equal to 2, then it knows it's Atlanta. Now let's go take a look at Atlanta. Um, so if we click on the Atlanta name, you'll see that this is equal to a worksheet called Maps and it is a fixed cell of C2. So let's go ahead and find that worksheet. So you'll see it's all hidden if you right click on the dashboard and you do unhide here in the menu. Um, you'll see that there is a choice called maps. Let's pull up that worksheet. So here are all the different maps that uh, Don created. So he took one picture, 
He sized it in about the size of a cell. He made lots of different um, rows equal to that same size. And then what he did is after pasting that, he made this little red dot here and he placed it about where Atlanta is within Georgia. And um, then that cell, since it's just a picture, um, what he did is he went in and named this cell. See here, it is named Atlanta. So he's put it in as a uh, name of Atlanta. So whatever is going to show up in this cell here of C2 is what you're ultimately going to get. So let's make this red star really, really large. And let's go back to the dashboard and let's find one where there it was in Atlanta. Can't remember that was, so I'm going to probably have to click around a little bit until I find Atlanta. Let's see, 2012, 2011, 5, um, let's see, 4. Of course, I'm not going to find Atlanta anywhere soon um, after making that really large one. Well, we'll just force it. Let's go force uh, cell B7 to equal number 2. And you can see it is going to show up as um, Atlanta here. So um, whatever is over in that image, if I go back to maps, and let's change it. Let's make it go um, like this over on the side. And let's copy and paste a second one so you see there's a second one there. If I go back to dashboards, it is showing an image and it is a linked picture. Um, and you can edit this picture, but it is equal to whatever is in that cell reference of my chart. So um, real ingenious way to make maps and have those show up uh, for different values here. Um, so uh, it's just awesome. Really love it, Don. Thank you very much for uh, creating that. And I um, want to thank everybody else uh, for coming to my blog. And you can download this sample dashboard and see how Don did every single one of these at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Also, please don't forget to sign up as a subscriber to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.